Welcome to Comics in the Making. My name is Ryan Holgerson. I'm the creator of Slackmatic, and I'm joined, as always, by Levi Erickson, the creator of the big, the sleeveless wonder. <laughs> How you doing, Levi? Oh, you know, I don't look like that 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 guy from Star Wars Theory. You know, have you no. seen have you seen that channel? Oh yeah, Star Wars man, as yeah. uh, <laughs> as uh, Red Letter Media called him um yeah okay i watched <laughs> yeah I, I i actually i watched that video yeah yeah so now we can that, tag we can tag them both in now oh god <laughs> but i remember like in like in 2019 watching you know a lot of star wars there were a lot of star wars youtubes that i like looking at and um and he was one of them and you know he got real popular and just as as his career in youtube took off and, and that became his job you could tell that like he started spending a lot of time in the gym because his earlier videos, you know, he's he's in you know fair decent shape, but now the dude's like jacked and everything. Yeah. Um, so that's like yeah. YouTube, YouTube is the path to bodybuilding. <laughs> right. I've seen that. I've seen that with uh, a few others too. Uh, uh, Flick, uh, Flick Connections, uh, which is a it's a good YouTube channel for uh. Uh, he does uh, new releases on like Netflix and Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, and then he'll just say, you know, he'll do videos like 10 really good horror movies or whatever. But uh, he's got a really weird uh, um, eclectic uh, 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 view of, with movies and stuff like that. And pretty similar to mine. So I'll watch his channel uh just you know just to watch some of his his recommendations and stuff like that but anyway i've been watching him for a few years and uh the last couple years you know he started promoting like ag1 and and stuff like that and he's been like working out and everything and uh uh yeah no same thing i mean you you watch his early videos and he's not out of shape but uh but now he's you know He's yeah. in shape. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, uh, so, hey, that's why we need you to subscribe so we can we can so we can get in shape. Bodies, you know? Yeah, because I'm not going to do it for me uh, <laughs> at all. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, um, so yeah, that, let's segue to the weather because there's a connection between how I'm dressed and the weather. It's a beautiful day. And we haven't talked about the weather, I don't think, for a couple episodes. Boy, we really have it. It's hot. Yeah. And no one's it's hot. hot. No one's called us on it. So I don't I don't get that. I don't yeah. Come on, guys. Let's get with it. <laughs> we haven't talked about the weather. Yeah, it's fucking hot. It's hot in the Carolinas. Um uh it did, you know, last night it really cooled off, actually. Yeah. I worked I worked really late uh last night till like uh oh one in the morning. I didn't get home till almost two. And uh, it was like 67 degrees or something like that when I got home. It 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 was a it felt great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and really, it, it is hot outside, but it's not unbearable. No, it, it's um, pretty, it's pretty nice, and it's not very humid. Yeah. We had a long streak of of just like dryness, and then I realized I was watering my garden too much. And so the day that I realized that and and stopped watering it as much, it started raining every single day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, then, I was I I was hoping I was going to get a little relief uh, on my vacation because I was I was not far north, but I was I was up north. Uh, I, I I went to. Uh, Virginia and West Virginia and I was in the mountains uh in both uh both places uh I I went to DC for a day and that's the furthest north and that was unbearably hot I we went and I get it it's the city and it's just trapping in all that heat but we we were there for a, a, a show and we walked out of there at like almost 10 o'clock at night and it was still just unbearably just humid and gross we went out to eat we got out of there at like i mean it was probably midnight or close to it it was still freaking hot i mean it was <laughs> just i it, yeah 
DC was awful uh, weather wise. I had a blast there, but it was oh, it was it was so hot. Yeah, uh, um, when you get up in that, you know, DC and then Maryland and Chesapeake yeah. area, that's some of the shittiest weather. You know, harsh winters and hot, hot, humid summers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, and that's but, the weather. now sports, and that's the weather. Yeah, <laughs> go Lakers. The Olympics are <laughs> happening right now. Uh, I actually, I think. Uh, um, I believe female, uh, uh, women's, uh, street skateboarding is today. So I'm going to have to watch oh, that. Cool. Um, um, I was getting updates of the, um, uh, of the, uh, I thought it was the grievance Olympics that was going on when I looked at the headlines this morning. I don't get it. Oh, there's a bunch of controversy about the opening ceremony and a lot of people are, um, uh, upset about the imagery and, and, and who portrayed what and. What was part oh, of no. the show. So everyone's mad. Everyone's mad now. So is everyone mad or it's, is just a certain group of people mad? It's a it's enough people to just ruin it for everyone. Yeah. That's why I say everyone's mad. I heard I yeah, I don't know. I heard good things about it. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I haven't I guess I haven't really paid that much attention to it. Yeah. So especially you don't. Okay. I won't think. <laughs> I just no, I just want to watch Olympics. by the time this comes out, the Olympics will be done anyways. So oh I, hopefully I know, no one right. will. <laughs> we just dated ourselves. Yeah. So well, all right, yeah. Levi. So let's let's talk about comic books, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can get to that. If we, we touch, have to. We can touch on that briefly. Okay. Short segment on comics. So uh we'll go back to weather in the yeah. month. <laughs> <laughs> so so Levi, today uh you're gonna tell us about your first uh comic book job. Yes. And uh I guess we'll kind of riff off of that and stuff. So why don't why don't you paint a picture? Tell us yeah. what's going on. Yeah, what happened. Um, and you know, I it's not like I forgot, but I just hadn't thought about it for a long time. And I was I was in the studio last week and I was, you know, doing roughs or layouts for for the big. And that got me thinking about the first project I worked I was hired to do in comic books. Um and and whatever whatever came of it, because it didn't end well for me, you know, like my involvement it just didn't look, look like the whole thing was going to fall apart so what it was um uh this gentleman speaking of bodybuilders uh own own a gym i believe in 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 st louis or, or somewhere in the midwest and had this idea you know because he was really big obviously into fitness and nutrition and and all that stuff had this idea to create characters that would compete you know the, the kids watching the teenage mutant ninja turtle cartoons and consuming consuming that media this would be something for them but instead of pizza and whatever these characters would you know uh you know that the, they would profess health and fitness and nutrition and all all the positive things and that i mean not that, pizza not pizza and not you know you know, fun stuff. Fun yeah. Stuff. All right. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. You know? And that, <laughs> and that always goes over well. I mean, it's always well received by kids. That's kids why, hate pizza. That's why, like, yeah. They that's hate exactly it. Exactly why the, you know, popular media is just permeate, permeated with, you know, celery and stuff like that. Well, I guess veggie tales are out there, right? You know, I've, I've worked, I've worked in the pizza industry uh, off and on for the last 25 years. That and means, I'll tell how, you, how have you been able to stay employed for that long? And, I, and I'll tell you, it's weird. And I'll, I'll tell you what, when you, when you knock on the door at someone who's ordered pizza, uh, uh, nine times out of 10, if they've got kids, you hear them go, oh man, pizza, fuck. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They hate it. They hate pizza. Yeah. So yeah, yeah right. I think that's, it was a good move anyway. I'm sorry, Levi, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, so he created these characters, uh, th these mastodons, and I don't know if that was the name of his gym or what. And each mastodon had a talent, uh, that was associated with, you know, fitness and sports, I guess. So the, the main one was like bodybuilder, big guy. Then you had a boxer, a wrestler, and like a runner, you know, like sprinter or marathon, whatever. And and so I, I was just like, whatever. 
became of that because he had merch. I know he had these like colossal statues. I've got one. It's in storage at my friend's place. Um, I'll be reunited reunited with it eventually. Um, and and so like this this little comic book would sort of um accompany those those merch purchases, right? Um, and they had plans for ongoing comics, and they wanted to do um an animated feature, and they wanted to do movies. They really wanted to you know, uh, uh, occupy all the media, um, corners that the Ninja Turtles and other, other characters like that were, were in, you know, it was really, you know, the passion behind the project was there. So, so I, I was living in LA at the time and you know, 18 years old, uh, and he had hired these two individuals that if you were to make a movie about, that was set in the early nineties and you wanted some slick sort of like characters that were going to kind of screw over people. These are the characters you would invent. So what you're seeing in your head, that's who these dudes were. I've got it. All right. <laughs> I've never met these people in comics ever. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. Well, these guys weren't in comics. I don't really know what they did. They, they never are. Involved. They never are. Yeah. You know? uh. Um, but through through a family friend who was a commercial artist at the time, um, I visited his studio and didn't live too far from my aunt. And we talked about it. It's like when I when I reflect on it, it's like I don't know why. I didn't go hang out and bother him more. I wanted to do art and stuff. So, so he threw my, I think somehow he was involved in some of the designs or something, but he couldn't really do it. Oh, I remember his, his close friend was uh, an artist, an animator named Jeff Purvis. Jeff Purvis had a, a run on the Hulk after Todd McFarlane and before Dale Keown. And that was the run in which the uh, Joe Fixit was introduced, right? Um, so Gray Hulk era, you know, you know, started I think pre McFarlane, and then uh, but the Joe Fixit, the Las Vegas character, um, that was during Jeff Purvis's run. So I think his name got dropped for the project, but I believe he was already he was already out, out of comics. I think he pivoted back to animation at yeah. the time, and he because he was friends with this commercial artist. Um, you know, he dropped it to him, but it wasn't really his thing. So then he knew I was an, uh, an aspiring comic book artist. And so he threw it to me. Um, so, so here I am taking my first, my first job and, um, not really understanding what I'm getting into and, and keep in mind, it's like 1993. I'm in Southern California. I want I I want to be hired by Extreme Studios or I, I I don't even think Wildstorm was a thing yet. I think it was still Jim Lee was still going by uh homage studios at the time. Yeah. Um I wanted to, you know, seek those places out and 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 um yeah, I heard if you could walk in the door at Extreme, it, they'd hire you to do something, you know. <laughs> um but uh uh so I wanted to draw that stuff anyways. I wanted to do Wildcats or Young Blood or 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 profit or you know, that's what i wanted to do that's what i thought i wanted to do but then you know this mastodon thing came 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 to me and it's like okay cool and you know the character designs I, I have all this stuff let's see it this is the folder of of all that stuff right here um with my little character letterhead yeah you see you see he's i have a letter for a head what's your excuse <laughs> I might have to bring that one out. I don't think I fully developed letterhead. Yeah, here we go. Yep. So I've got I got a script. It's I mean, I mean, ch you know, check out that. I mean, this is typed. Yeah. This thing is typed. It may have been printed on, on a printer, but it would have been a dot matrix, and that doesn't look like dot matrix to me. No. Uh, it's still word processor stuff. Yeah. I mean, even though it's been 30 years or whatever, I just want to make sure I'm not dropping people's... Uh, I want to throw people's names out. Don't dox anybody. Yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's 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 my contract, or at least these are the project outline and the terms. And I was going to get paid five hundred dollars. Spoiler: I didn't get the five hundred dollars. <laughs> um, but you signed a contract. Yeah. And yeah, that's the script I'm looking at. Yeah, I can't believe I still. Yeah, yep. July. Oh shit! July twenty first, nineteen ninety three is the date on this. No, oh, damn, a week I, ago. Yeah, a week ago, and what is that? Thirty one years. Twenty nine years, or no, thirty nine. No, thirty one. Thirty one. I was yeah. right. We You're don't right. do math here. God. Ah. Uh, how it, it, many it, times? It, more source material. <laughs> um. Oh, here's my contract. I can't believe I still. Yep, it's written my, in crayon. There's my little signature and all this stuff. Yep, yep, dude. I remember they came. Uh, we lived in a trailer park, right, right off of uh, the two ten freeway. They came. They came to my humble abode. But yeah, I mean, and here are some of the turnarounds. It's like the uh, last Starfighter. We watched that last night. Our, our, Did you our, really? Our annual <laughs> screening of The Last Starfighter. Man, I haven't watched that in decades. You should watch it every year, at least. At least. At least. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be bad. No, it's I not. loved it. No, it's, it's not? not. No. Okay. All right. No. It may, yeah. Okay. So here are the here are the turnarounds. Um, I didn't do these. I can't see who did these. But yeah, there's there's like the main character. Muscle head. I mean, I mean, and this that is, that is oh, a tiny waist. This, that waist is wow. Well, he's got his lifting belt, so that's going to cinch it up a little bit. Um, <laughs> but that's a nice color print for 1993, man. No, man, it, no, it, it is. Yeah, and, and, and uh, even, they they kind of stopped doing the, <laughs> all the extra color, but that's the uh, that's the crusher. That's the boxer, the tangler. He's a wrestler. And Blazer. Yeah, yeah. All these memories are coming back now. So I was I was provided these and and I did um I think I just have a bunch of like layout pages or something. I don't know. I can't make heads or tails of this crap. Oh, this this is definitely not the Mastron thing. And this, so I did some artwork and I did um they gave me a little bit of money for art supplies in the beginning. And um, I think it was like 75 or hundred bucks. And, and so I did, I did, I did some artwork. I did some more character design stuff for him. I handed all that stuff up. And I remember doing like the five pages that I was asked, um, you know, to start this thing off with and turning that stuff up. And then all of a sudden my contacts weren't being reliable, you know, reliable. And eventually I was trying to find out more of, of like what was going what was going on with this, you know. Um, and so I called I called the owner of the IP. Yeah, Robert Weber is his name, and I'm I, this will probably say somewhere because I think he was in uh I think he was in like St. Louis or something. I signed this on the 21st of July and it was, it was expected it would be done uh, August 5th. <laughs> I don't know who made that call. Um, probably you. <laughs> yeah, probably. That, so that sounds like oh, yeah, a... I can do, I can do a page. Yeah, now. yeah. Whatever, it sounds like an 18-year-old. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'll have it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Let me smoke a lot of weed first. Good call on that. No, I was, so I, was, hungry. I was straight edge when I was a kid. Me too. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he was like somewhere in the Midwest, uh, the owner of the IP. So yeah, I just kind of called him, and he was kind of like, "Yeah, I'm over here. I don't have anything." You know. If if I remember, he's like, I don't have anything, you know. I haven't, and I, and I haven't heard from these dudes either. What's going, you know, what's going on? So, I had a fax machine at the time, 
And so I faxed him, you know, copies of, of what I had, had turned up and, and it was, you know, we talked about that stuff and he's like, yeah, but I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not in contact with these guys and I've already, you know, written the checks, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I was just like, okay, I don't, I don't want to do your stupid mastodons anyway. You know, the way an 18 or 19 year old kid would, you know, kick rocks, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I didn't say that to him, but I'm just like, well, you know, that, that's just, this is just distracting me from doing my knockout portfolio, you know, for Comic-Con next year, you know, um, or what, or that year, you know, cause if that was July, you know, you know what it, Comic-Con probably just happened if that was the case. Right. I, was there, I was there in 93 anyways, but yeah, this is, this is actually the cover that I did and it was inked by uh, that, uh, the commercial artist named Dave Arkell um that i talked about before so that with all the little characters doing their thing and um that's that's really good man you know so i mean that's and i think I, I, part of it i mean what happened you know with the middlemen whatever you know went down the way to, i do remember the last time I did talk to them where i was able to get a hold of them or whatever and i was just trying to get some money for what i had done because i didn't get right. paid you know, for, for what I had done, you know, I, I think I, I was kind of already off the project or, or, or whatever. Um, and, um, and we met up and they were real nice and everything. And, but man, these, these dudes were coked up. They were, you know, I, I guess I, I should say allegedly, I guess my impression was, I guess, you know, I should put all those caveats in there, but man, you know, it was just like, disappearing you know there was two two of these dudes and one would go and one would come back you know as we were you know having our conversation i was trying to state my case but i didn't know how to be like you know give me my damn money um and they're trying to sweet talk me and i said well we you know uh we got some pagers you know pagers were a thing you know uh, <laughs> and and then they're trying to give me pagers as compensation or whatever or maybe we can buy some more art supply you know i'm just kind of like you know what i see what's going on here you need some you paper know. you yeah. want us to buy you some paper <laughs> so you want some pencils so yeah so it, it was just it was just a you know it, it was a ambitious pro ambitious project um you know, for, for the creator, what, 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 you know, he had, uh, uh, you know, Weber, you know, what he wanted for this to become. Um, so I got to thinking about it and, you know, kind of you know, replayed all the, you know, all the, all the story points and how, how it all unfolded, found some of the artwork, you know, um, for, for some reason, the pencils of my cover, I, I think, I think the reason is because I handed it up, so I I just traced it on tracing paper. I think is why that's all I have left over from that is um uh, is uh uh the tracing paper rendering of the cover that I handed up. Um, but yeah, I was just just I was wondering how that all came together, so I googled it and. It didn't take long uh, scrolling, but I found a, what looked like an image of a, what looked like a video cover, video cassette cover, with those characters in a very similar layout to what I just showed you. And I was like, what's this? And then next thing you see is there's a little YouTube thing and a cartoon. And it says like the Mastodons. I'm like, yeah, let's click on that. Let's see that. And they did in 1997. They released a 30 minute uh, pilot um for this and i guess that's what that video was i was able to find actual like photos of the cassettes so they they made these cassettes and it yeah. turned, and, and then i found like uh, mastodon gym and, and it seems to be his business he's still running his gyms and and he still seems to have these products out looks like they did make a comic book if you go on the website um and I, I I think it's probably a tie-in, you know, when people sign up family memberships and the kids get a comic or whatever, um, you know, whatever promotional, whatever it is. But um, but it you know it looks like yeah he 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 kept pursuing that he didn't let that roadblock, you know, between a couple of uh, Southern California 
goofballs and, you know, an 18 year old, you know, pine the sky kid, you know, keep him from, you know, taking that project to, uh, you know, uh, at, at least further on down the road, if not to where yeah. it to be, you know, ultimately. But I mean, that's so that, and that kind of, that made me feel good. I was like, okay, cool. He, he did get to, you know, get this in some form like he wants, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I would be willing to bet there's a lot of cartoonists out there with very similar stories to yours. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, to uh, especially at that age of 18, 19, you know, look we're you know we're not the brightest right now but when we were we were 18 and 19 i mean you know you're you're not thinking straight at all um oh yeah yeah and and especially you know having my mind on i mean 1993 but, but i mean a hell of a time in comics right so i'm yeah, yeah. I'm not, you know delusions of grandeur myself but even but even then really i mean i guess you know, for you, where uh, you know you were talking more about, you wish you had spent more time at at uh, uh, that uh, uh, commercial artist studio and stuff like yeah. that. You know? Yeah, like that's what I get. Other than that, though, I mean, with the you know, I mean, your your contract is probably not great. Uh, you know, <laughs> right, but, you right. know, pricing wise, I, I I don't think I would have done any different uh 500 at that at that age but huh. you didn't you didn't do anything wrong you know this was just uh uh bad actors you know essentially yeah and uh and and, and i look these people are still out there today you know not necessarily these two specific people they they were arrested on cocaine drug charges a long time ago but uh That's sort of speculative very allegedly speculative. allegedly <laughs> these people are huge cocaine dealers i, I don't know allegedly. allegedly uh <laughs> uh but but people like this are out there and i mean and i i've i've come into contact with uh uh a lot of these people you know i mean we'll talk to them at at, at shows and stuff like that and uh you know, I, I'm uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm most surprised that the owner of the gym kept, kept going. Uh, oh yeah. It's, it's uh, be, because usually when I see this stuff, like, cause you'll see uh, businesses try and, and, and do this kind of promotional thing with comics or whatever. And I think quickly they realize, uh, oh, this is a lot harder than it looks. I think I think a lot of people think that comics are cheap to make and easy and stuff and and yeah re like in the big picture compared to other forms of media yes they are but right. uh they also that but they're not easy and um yeah I, like the physical uh, the physical production of them is some of the most like price point you know uh for promotional materials but to get to where you're printing a comic book, there's a lot of expense in there, especially if you're trying to hire people. Right. Yeah. And especially like, boy, like you and, and think if you're on the level of, you know, you want to hand this out for uh, just extras on merch and promotional material, uh, you're spending probably, you know, at, at least a grand, at least. Oh yeah. For just, you know handing shit out or whatever so oh, um 100 yeah, percent. yeah but i don't i you know thanks for sharing because <laughs> i i i think it's good for us to hear uh uh stories like that and you know fumbles or mistakes or oh, yeah. you know or just you know whatever whatever it is you know and i i for sure had had a few of those <laughs> um I could probably share at some point. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. If I really um, think back on it. And on that, I'm I'm gonna have to dip because uh, I need to take Una to work. And um, all right. Yeah, that, that 
came up uh, unexpectedly that uh, they're going to need to lean on me. So um, jump back in real quick and do a quick wrap up and mention some of the shows. And then I got to go. All right. Uh, so before we get out of here, we've got Eddie Pecan coming up. That is August 24th in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. We are super excited about that. Uh, and I don't have the date right in front of me, but it is like the last weekend of September where you're doing Queen City Zine Fest. That's going to be in Charlotte. Uh, we'll we'll have more details on that uh, as soon as I've got them right in front of me. But those are the places that you can see. Both me and Levi will be sitting right next to each other. For sure, come out to Eddie Pecan uh, August 24th. We are really excited about that. And until then, 100%. just do the damn thing. Right on. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem at all. I got to learn these new buttons.